guys welcome back to my channel so today's video it's a quick um, makeup look that I always go to like um, every day when I decide to wear makeup that is which is like maybe twice a week <laughs> I'm not really like big in makeup I only wear makeup like yeah a couple of times a month but um, I just decided to share um, this quick everyday makeup look um, with you guys. So first things first, I'm going to um, do my eyebrows. I decided to do my eyebrows on camera so that you guys can see. There's a mirror in front of me, so I'm looking at the mirror right now. Um, I just wanted you guys to see like how I do like my you know like natural looking eyebrows so I use an, an old mascara it's not like old old but I've had it for uh, some time now so it's like probably almost finished if not finished it's starting to dry out so that means yeah so I use a mascara and then to brush, I brush up and you see like the eyebrows are all, like, look at them, they look so different already. And then I do the same on the other side. This is my go-to like eyebrow look when I'm not in the mood of like, you know, going all the way like in with, you know, a lot of stuff like drawing them and, you know, contouring and things like that. So. And then I'm going to use this sweetie brush just to brush them nicely. And then I'm going to go on the other side as well and brush the top. Like they look so nice and natural and then I'm gonna go in with my concealer this is a Mac concealer it's um, NC 45 studio finish concealer um, just to clean out it's not necessarily like you know like concealing I just need to clean out You see, there's not much concealer. Just clean out the bottom. I'm already done. And then I clean out the top with whatever that is, you know, left off in the concealer that I had. And I go in with my little finger just to clean out and blend. Can you see that? And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to prime my face with this hydrate and prime primer from um, revolution Ooh. I don't know I think that's a lot but we'll see I 
I love a hydrating um <coughs> I don't know what's going on. I love a hydrating um, primer because I feel like most of, you know, the foundations are, I like very matte. I don't know why there's so many matte foundations. Like it's so hard for me to get like a foundation which is not matte. I don't know, maybe it's me or yeah, but it's so hard so now i always use a hydrating mask and also um a, like a dewy finish setting spray just to bring back that glow and moist in my skin so now i'm going in with this new revlon color stay full coverage um this is literally the first time i'm using it um i bought it online and <sighs> i'm worried about like this color skin it doesn't i don't think it's my skin tone <laughs> but let me see i really don't i feel like it's a little bit dark oh i think that's a bit too much i feel like it's a little bit dark because i only saw that it says caramel and number 425 and i consider myself caramel but now when it got to the house i'm like ish this kind of caramel it looks do you guys think it's my skin tone i don't know i don't know maybe i should have bought almond which is like 410 number 14 now i am what i'm gonna do now okay let me just bring it down a little bit to my neck Okay, I'm gonna wipe off <laughs> the remaining um, foundation and then now I'm gonna go in with um, this beauty blender I bought this beauty, beauty blenders from um, Mr. Price the Scarlet Hill makeup brand I like going in with a beauty blender because I just want to make sure that you know i get that really like nice finish so i'm like patting i don't don't i don't move it around so i'm like patting the skin not moving it around this is actually a good foundation and it's only like I think it's 170 175 or 170 something yeah around there I don't know I feel like I look a little bit orange yeah, no, I must get the almonds. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna use the concealer from LA Girl, which is in the shade Fawn. I'm gonna conceal my under eye. I don't put a lot of concealer. And then I'm just going to go to the other side. And a little bit. And then my chin. And then get that, you know, snatched nose. Mm. 
and then I'm gonna go to my forehead just a little bit not too much this is a day look so yeah and then also what do I want to do I'm gonna go in with this um, uh, chest, uh, chestnut the shade chestnut is still um, LA girl in the shade chestnut just a little bit here and a little bit here I'm not gonna do the sides I'm just gonna use um, a contouring powder for the sides then I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush <laughs> with my foundation brush and conceal under the eye No, I'm not feeling the foundation brush. Let me go in with my beauty blender. As you can see, there were there was no like a lot of um, product under the eye because <laughs> I like blend in like once or twice and I'm done. Okay, done with the under eyes. There we go. Then go to my chin. now um because i was complaining that the foundation is not like my actual shade now it's like looking quite nice after using the concealer you know i'm loving it and then i go to my forehead Come down to the tip of the nose. And then I come. Um, I'm not really feeling the nose, but I'm still gonna use now the contouring, contouring powder. Okay. I'm not really bad at this. <laughs> And then now I'm going to set my face with this I'm going to use the new Revlon Candid um, setting powder in, sh in the shade Banana. Damn. Damn. DM DM DM. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face 
start with under my eye I don't bake guys I don't like baking I'm just gonna go I do not like baking at all when I, uh, I tried baking and I don't know my my skin felt you know like super dry under the eyes and I was looking quite old after big <laughs> you know it made me look old and you know dry so from that day I was like no I'm not doing baking again and this actually works come around the mouth and then to my forehead I love this powder guys actually it is quite nice and like very light on the skin and then I I keep shaking it because <laughs> the product is not coming out Ooh. and then I go on the tip of my nose okay didn't see any difference there Okay. And that's it. So now I'm going to go in with this um, powder brush. Just to remove any like excess powder. I'm loving this look already. Okay, and then I'm gonna contour using um, the Essence contouring contouring palette. I'm gonna use this angled brush from Scarlet Hill. I'm gonna use the other side. Not too much. This is like a day look and then go up and then again I'm gonna go in on on my nose. go on the other side <laughs> okay and then Because I'm not going to put any foundation, I'm going to just like 
put uh, this highlight like contour like and uh, under my on my lid so that I don't have like you know like my face doesn't like look flat just gonna do this okay and then I'm gonna go in Ooh. I it gets very messy <laughs> with me like I don't know why but I'm quite a messy person I normally wear um, I normally wear like a, a gown when I'm doing my makeup because the makeup when I'm done it like it comes like all over my my clothes I'm just brushing like my neck now I'm gonna go in with a um, with this um, blush from Essence this is their palette it's Hey Chicks and this palette has a bronzer has a blush and has a highlighter there's a lot going on here so I'm gonna use this this one here just a little bit I love 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 a blush I feel like it's never too much when it comes to blush <laughs> like is it ever too much though how can you say if, if, if the blush is too much like never you can never say that okay and then since I'm already yeah I'll then do this I'm gonna highlight using this brush just a little bit sometimes I don't even highlight like giving the one you know because this is like a day look yes you can highlight but sometimes I just don't so today I'm gonna highlight I'm doing it for you guys I'm doing it for you <laughs> a little bit to the forehead and then the tip of the nose Okay, then I'm done with that and I'm gonna put on a gel this is a lash and gel uh, mascara a lash and brow gel mascara from um, Essence go in with this gel I've been using this gel like since um, since it came out was it last year I don't even remember I think it was last year or 2018 I don't know but it's been around for some time now and I love it my eyebrows stay in place like the whole day which I love so much and then now I'm gonna go in with my mask sorry guys <laughs> I think I've been shooting for some time now the camera is like telling me that girl you need to stop you need to wrap it up but yeah as I was saying I'm going in with this mascara from essence this is um, a lash princess 
Oh, one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite mascaras. It is like so good. Guys, I am like a drugstore kind of girl. Because I'm not that, you know, big on like makeup. I would never spend a lot of money on makeup, you know, in expensive brands where you can like get a, a product that works pretty much as good as the expensive one and you get that uh, product like at a cheaper price. Why would I go buy a mascara for 300 rand when, you know, there's Essence, there's Maybelline, and they are doing the most? <laughs> I think I just smudged. It's not a smudge. Okay. Can you see how, ooh, look at that, I just marched it there, because I was trying to show you guys. I'll clean it when it's dry. You don't, if if you smudge, like, you're applying um, mascara and then you smudge. Always wait for it to dry out before you can clean it because if you try and clean it out while it's still wet haha -ha, that's all i'm gonna say like how good is this mascara guys love it Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for for it to dry out. While I'm waiting, okay, I'm gonna go in with this set, setting spray. This is a NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. It is one of the best setting sprays that I've ever used. I always like um, use a setting spray before I do my mouth. I don't know why, but The girl is looking nice. The girl is looking cute. The girl is looking pretty. <laughs> okay, guys. Let me do my lips. I'm going to use this MAC um, lip liner in the shade Chestnut. A favorite. I'm sure you've seen this liner in like most of your, you know, favorite YouTubers. A lot of people love, 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 love this liner. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush just to blend the liner a little bit. I don't wanna have, you know, those like harsh lines there. 
and then I'm gonna go in with this um, lip gloss from Scarlet Hill I don't know <laughs> this is a lip gloss but it's you know a little bit matte but in a nice way it doesn't leave you know your your lips you know cracked and feeling like super dry Ooh, okay I think that's enough I don't want to put too much and then I'm gonna go in with a lip gloss just an old favorite lip gloss from you know disco I feel like I put a little bit too much lip gloss let me go to the corners but there's no such thing as too much lip gloss though is there no I just love this combo. This is the lip gloss I'm using. Okay, I think I'm done. So now I can clean out the mascara and under my eyes yeah and I am done how do i look <laughs> okay that's it guys thank you guys for checking this video out see you in my next video oh.